A delegation of TED Fund's Committee on Research and Development, comprising top academics and researchers, is led on the tour by the Executive Secretary of the Body, Professor Suleiman Bogoro. The visit begins from the Dangote Pipeline threshold, capable of managing over 3 billion standard cubic feet of gas per day. From there, the team moves to the jetty, built to receive heavy equipment for the construction of the refinery and other projects. These are what we call single point models. Each of these can carry 2 million barrels of oil. That means we have built this future ready for business. Anything that happens in this business over the next 30 years will be taken care of by the refinery. It hats off to the vision of my president. The tour continues despite the rain. The visitors are driven around the industrial complex to see other projects, including the fertilizer plant and the refinery. Besides understanding how technology is applied in these facilities, the visit will facilitate a strong collaboration of the government, the academia and the industry to ensure that results of university research are useful and applied in the industry. We produce graduates in various disciplines, but we must ensure that we create the environment to take up these young graduates that have ideas. Many of them that are so versatile, they will apply them beyond their narrow areas. What Dangote would be providing in this regard is helping academia, helping universities to say this is the kind of training we expect you to give to our graduates so that when they come here we don't have to put them through another one year or two years of training before they become useful uh, employees. The Dangote refinery project is expected to generate over 250,000 direct and indirect jobs for Nigerians when completed. Both parties believe that the collaboration will ensure that Nigerian graduates are equipped with the skill set to immediately fit into the industry upon employment.